The beauty of PvP is always outplaying your opponent because there's a real human behind, you know, fighting you, right? So I'm gonna show you guys and showcase how this individual with the quiver will die. I probably should get a Phoenix necklace because he has a Debo, but it's fine. I'll probably just triple eat it unless I get unlucky and it's on the same tick. Be careful. I'm gonna double eat there. The eats are very delayed on this world as well, which is bad. I'm just gonna safe there, break the venge. Okay, eat again. I'm gonna- Oh no, oh no! Hmm, I mean, okay, I'll accept death there. I'll accept death, I mean, it was like what? A 140, 150 stack? Phoenix necklace would have saved me if I bring it, but I forgot it. I'll accept that there. See? I mean, it's my fault. My lazy ass didn't want to bring a Phoenix necklace. The thing about Phoenix necklace is, if you bring a Phoenix necklace on a Debo, it negates all the damage after as well, and it only processes the first hit. Does that make sense? Phoenix necklace is the most broken necklace in the game when it comes down to Debo and Dragon Throwing Axe. They actually got to patch that. I'm actually on that guy's side about the Phoenix necklace nerf. I could have lived that, to be honest, I think. Actually, no, given the situation I, I was in, I was dying either way, but that was like what maybe like a 140 stack. I need to see the clip so, Did anybody clip it? Let me see the clip Let me see what I could have done or what I could have not done You know, maybe I could teach some folks about PvP out here Why is the clip name most broken account and most advanced PKer? Okay, you're going to hell kid. Yeah, let's see this So the whole time I was eating it was like a 23 11 I double eat a 7 I try to break his venge here. I double eat to 115. Do I break his venge? I do I restore I eat it. I eat another angler. He hits me again and then he hits me another 17 while I try to pot up. And then as soon as I angler here, right? If I brew, I, if I brew, that's 84, right? 16 plus uh, 68 is 84. And then I crawl him onto 99. I still die. Yeah, this is like a, this is a scenario where if I wasn't on bad ping, I would have lived. But given the scenario that I was in, there's no way I live it regardless, right? Yeah. There's no way I live it regardless, right? That's 42, 70, that's 91, I had 86 HP. Let me show you guys what got me killed, right? Let's see. So I restore there. I'm gonna super combat soon. I'm gonna double eat here. He's just railing me out throughout the whole fight. The quiver, okay, wait, wait, let me see that. So I eat a Manta there. I go out, I pull out KO weapon. I decide to Kuwambon, right? But even, even if I did brew Kuwambon, I still die. Yeah, I mean, good fight, brother. Your RNG, you know, it was there. But you know, things like this happen. It's okay, tier 10 is mine on the next one. I gotta bring Phoenix Necklace against Debo Sadie. I know, it's cringe, I know. Oda, are you treating like this like your hardcore Iron Man? What if you die to a 91 hardcore Iron Man too? I would have never died on this account if I was treating it like a hardcore. Okay, if I treated this account like a hardcore Iron Man, I would never die. If I bring a Phoenix necklace, I would have never died. I just love playing around. You know, I have a fun time. I'm impatient. It's just foolishness, having a good time, doing random shit. You know, Phoenix necklace is needed in this bracket. As much as I hate to admit it, and as much as I hate the Phoenix necklace, it's needed against Debo's on this ping. This is a Ukrainian world. I only could get single eats off if, if it's their pin. My ping is that bad. Everything's delayed.